day one from Amazon to the Gulf Coast. We're here with our friends from Ecuador, Emergildo, Humberto, Luis, Mariana, who've now suffered for the last 40 years at the hands of Chevron Corporation, second largest oil company in America, and the devastation that their oil pollution has caused to their lands, the livelihoods, the health of the people in Ecuador. Now they've traveled here to the Gulf Coast to meet with community leaders, to meet with people on the Gulf that are going to be and have been affected by this contamination from the BP disaster, and we're here to learn about the impacts and hopefully share stories from Ecuador about how to deal with these types of disasters. Huele a brea, a petróleo. Desde como 100 millas de allá se ha migrado todo el crudo. Sí, 100 millas. A ver, Morenita. Ahí. Mira, este es petróleo. Huele a brea. Huele un poco a químico. No se, no se despega tan fácil. Esto es bastante, bastante peligroso. Este es el veneno que mata, no instantáneamente, pero va matando lentamente. Soy Mariana. Oh, ok. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Yes, yes. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo está Emergildo? Emergildo? Nacionalidad okay. Popán. It's coastal marshes, you know, they're nurseries. They, they're where uh, shrimp and fish and crab and oyster spores, they all get up in there to start life. So all along the coast in these marshes, it's the beginning of life. And when the oil moves in, it kills everything it touches. And uh, you asked earlier how the oil is impacting us. Well, we, we make our money from harvesting the waters. Also, um, we eat from here. So not only can we not go out and uh, earn a living, we can't eat our foods. You know, everything to us is closed off. So it's almost like a double impact. <laughs> 